Howdy folks, and welcome to episode 2 of my modded career playthrough. Last episode, we lost Val. <laughs> well, <laughs> I lost Val. Uh, and that was bad. <laughs> so we're going to try not to do stuff like that again. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you can't make a cake without breaking some eggs, right? So, yeah. Uh, this episode, we're going to try and complete Project Mercury, which is to get a Kerbal into orbit. Uh, we're obviously going to spam the science as we're doing it. Uh, I also want to improve our launch vehicle as well, because that's going to make future missions easier. Uh, we shall see. I've only got 12 points. I think they're 45, were they? Yeah, I'm not going to afford any new bits. So anyway, yeah, last episode I unlocked some new things, didn't I? So we're going to make a better rocket this time anyway. The upper stage was okay, I thought. You know, the bit what come back down, that seemed to work. There's nothing there I want. Uh, but we could definitely do with improving the launch vehicle. Uh, yeah, so we're going to try and complete Project Mercury and then probably move on to... Soyuz? Yeah, probably a Soyuz capsule. We're going to need to build a space taxi, you see. Try and earn some money early on. But we're going to load this and we're going to work work from this design. Because the upper stage was okay, we're just going to redesign the rest of it. Uh, so, we've got bigger fuel tanks this time. What engines? Hmm, we're still small efficient upper stage for a satellite well we, we can be quite small yeah go on we'll give it a go we'll try and make a two stage or maybe even boosters we can make a three stage that'd get into space it wouldn't be the ultimate design we're going for in the end but uh it would complete that goal for us yeah let's have a crack at that see see what happens Go nuts. <laughs> okay, now we want a pokey engine for that. I believe we've got the wildcat. Yes. Wildcat is the pokiest out of the bunch we've got at the moment, and I do use it in my R7 designs, which we'll talk about later. Uh, now we're going to go boosters as well. Now that's a pokey one. That'd be too much for this. That's not enough. Yeah. I don't really have a good choice, apart from the small ones. They'd look ridiculously small on the side of there. Still, we'll give it a go. For science. <laughs> or explosions. One of the two. Luckily, because they're small, if they do blow up, um, it'll be this end of the rocket what blows up. So there's a good chance the Kerbal will survive. Let's make aerodynamic. And lower them down a bit. Yeah, that does look a bit silly. <laughs> Alright, so we go for Mercury 4. I think that's okay. You know what, I don't know if these are going to be pokey enough to lift this, you know. If I go for four, there's it's more likely of an explosion. Come on, we'll do it. It'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, we don't have struts. Uh, this will be fun. 
Any new science? No. Okay, we're gonna save at that. Just check these action points are still there from the last one. Yes, okay. Uh, and yes, it is, it's Jeb's turn. <laughs> Be careful, Jeb. <laughs> <coughs> now this one should have enough to get into orbit should it's not the end rocket design I want but it should do the trick so let's turn those on about there. I'd love to know what the TWR is. Anyway, come on, let's go. It'll be fun. I don't really want to mess with my trajectory while I've got four of these strapped onto the side. I don't have ejector systems at the moment. That means they just kind of drop off. <laughs> I'd like to angle over by now. Yeah, this is going to be a very inefficient orbit shot. Stay still, please. Fighting with it to try and keep it straight. We're getting some speed off it though. I'll save us some delta V on the next stage. Okay. Don't blow up, don't blow up. Yeah! Okay, now throttle this up to 100% and come over here a bit. We've got a bit more control. Why did that put us? Thirty thousand. Okay, come on. We want to go this way. We need to add some horizontal speed. Almost there. Come on, more horizontal. There we go, we're in the lighter atmosphere now, I've got more control. And there's the atmosphere broke. And we'll cut off engines now. Right now, I still can't walk to there, can I? This isn't fair. Okay. Right, so. We'll just fast forward until I break the atmosphere. Okay. Now I've still got a bit of a way to go, so let's angle in the direction I want to be going. I don't know how much fuel hang. Hmm. Gonna have to just eyeball it. I'm not sure how strong this uh, the second stage engine is. I've never used that one of those before. It's a new new quantity. It says small satellites. I mean, we're quite small. It should be okay. I'm just a bit worried about how much puff it's got. Right, so we're gonna throttle up now. Get right on that line. Now what we're doing is we're burning in yeah, the prograde, which increases this. As I was saying the other day, the idea is to be going so fast when you fall, you miss the planet. Uh, I think that 
just about to run out. That's more fuel than I was expected. Oh uh, yeah, uh, these, because uh, I'm running the making history now. Hang on one second. Dump that stage. Um, because I've got the making histories DLC installed as well, we've got other launch sites we can play with, which we will do. Right, I just need to angle up because we're well past our upper this. I don't feel. Yeah, we're gonna do this. I think. Easy. Uh, cut it off. There we go. And we are in orbit. We have completed our objectives. Hey. <laughs> oh dear. You know what? I forgot to do the science on the way up, didn't I? <sighs> right. I need to do a high atmosphere science reading. I'll do it on the way down. I could do a, a space one now and I'd get I'd bring back more but I was planning on doing that for Mercury 5 if we do another Mercury or we might just jump straight onto Gemini. We'll see what we unlock. Yeah okay so we've accomplished our goals. Well soon to. Let's get on the light side. There's no real difference, it's purely for aesthetic reasons. Okay. Now, when you're in orbit, if you want to come out of orbit, what you have to do is burn retrograde, which is opposite to the direction you're traveling. So, let's burn that engine. How's our electric looking? Good, okay. Right, now that camera view just changed, which means we're now back into the gravitational influence. We want to land, we don't want it to be too steep, so. Okay, this this craft is okay. It's worked out right. We've still got plenty of fuel left, and we've done everything we needed to. Okay, so at the atmosphere, we're going to ditch this stage, and we're going to do our science. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. And we're going to try and keep pointing in the retrograde. Now, the good news about this, yeah, we'll just fast forward until we hit some bit of drag. The good news about this is, if he survives this mission, which, touch wood, I hope you will. Slow down. Um, he will go up a star, which means he has better SAS abilities. And the two where you get next are prograde and retrograde, which are really useful. Well, this is a bit wobbly. I don't really want to. Yeah. It's starting to bleed feet now. Okay, that's good. Yeah, once he's unlocked those anyway, you can just like tell him to be in retrograde on re-entry and it makes them so much safer. It's not fail safe every time depending on what you're trying to land because you can try some ridiculous things because it's Kerbal and that's what you do. Um, but yeah it's a lot safer once you've unlocked that. So yeah Jeb, first Jeb in space is always the first. Uh, Slow down a bit. We're definitely going to land in the drink. Yeah. We call that a success. We've got loads of heat shield. They always give you too much heat shield. The uh, the Russian pods, what we're going to use, what come with um, making history DLC, they replicate the the Soyuz capsule and the Vostok capsule. 
four stock. Yeah, one of those anyway. Uh, let's turn these off. We'll get to a decent altitude. And pop these. Okay. Yeah, the uh, Russian capsules you can use. They come with heat shield built in. It's only a little bit, but you only need a little bit. As you see, I just came through there with a, a fairly steep angle. And we only used a tiny bit. And you get more than that. I think you get about 20. We've used 11, so yeah, it's plenty. And anyway, you'd only use those capsules for um, orbital flights of Kerbal. And then because of that, you wouldn't be going that fast on re-entry anyway. And uh, another bonus of them is they're round, so they they always like keep going one direction. They're a lot more easier to control. The bad news is if you're going the wrong way, it's harder to ride. Here we go. Is that good? Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, we need to add weight to that. Okay, so let's fast forward that to we need the water. Uh, but yeah, we will be using those when we do our Soyuz program, which is probably the, going to be our next program. We need to build a space taxi so we can spam the tourist missions because that's a good way of earning money. And we want to... It'll be used as well eventually to tra uh, ferry to and from our space station we're going to build. We're going to build a few of those, to be honest, so it would be a good idea to build a craft we can ferry to and from. Man, we definitely got to add weight to this. Okay. So I call that a success, I think. Yeah, I think that's going to be so yes. <laughs> so let's see what we get with our juicy, juicy, lovely science. We may do one more Mercury mission, I think. Just to do a uh, spacewalk, because we don't have the rocket size yet to do a Gemini mission. Um, that's going to be larger rockets, by the way, and uh, larger crew capsules. Hmm. So yes, yeah, lots of science. Yummy, yum, 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 yum. And he's got up a star. Yay! We knew you had it in you, Jeb. Right, so. What are we going to pick? What are these? They are 45, so I can only pick one of these. Damn. Okay, more science. Mm, batteries and probe cores. You see, now I think we should we should have started with those. In real life, the space program started with probes. Sputnik. Uh, stay Putnik. <laughs> we should have started with those. I mean... It makes more sense than with capsules. I mean, look, you don't even unlock aircraft until here. And you would have thought, you know? <laughs> but it's just a little critique. Uh, science is an option. We do obviously want it. But we kind of... I really want that. Because that's going to improve our launch capabilities massively. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And be damned. Uh, let's go check a mission then. Now oh we've completed man. that. Let's just explore Kerbin. Perform a spate work. Oddly enough, that's what I was going to do. <laughs> okay. So, yes, we'll accept that. And I think we're going to, yeah. Because if we select one of these, we're definitely going to do a Soyuz mission next. How much do we get for this? Not a great deal. Are they only want suborbital flight, so we want to wait until they yeah, okay, we'll wait for that. We've got a mission. Oh, did I just click that off? Spacewalk. Okay. So 
let's design a new craft with our new goodies actually you know what I want to upgrade that if we can afford it yes we can what does station upgrade for you do oh yeah okay and I think we want to upgrade that as well can we afford that how much we got Ooh, we're cutting it close but I'd like I'd like that done because then we can do flight planning and that is also critical okay so on to yeah we'll do one more mercury mission and then we'll call it a day and move on to our next program okay so we know that craft works but now we have better stuff so let's let's get rid of all of that and we'll start from scratch safer stuff yeah this is not dramatic zooming in it's just going this slow for some reason <laughs> dun, dun, dun. No, okay uh, let's get some of these right uh, oh. is that bigger that is definitely bigger let's go with this and then this and this is now going to be our upper stage this is a, a decent design we're going to base a lot of spacecraft off this little thing here it's a very handy design did we get a lot of batteries? no we didn't did we? damn okay so we want a decoupler raise it up a bit and one more now I still don't have a way of checking my thrust to weight ratios but this engine the wildcat is should be powerful enough to raise that I believe I mean how big is it well maybe anyway we're going to stick some solid boosters on because we don't have the fuel tanks I want yet to build the craft I want us to build so we're going to stick with solid boosters for a bit but we've got a new selection there once again I don't want to go that far because that's a really powerful one 600 we got down here really <laughs> okay we'll try these yeah because I bet we haven't got struts yet either no right yeah because the larger an object what you strap to the side the more likely you're going to need to put struts on to make it secure now this is probably the limit of what I'd be willing to put on without using struts and even this one might be a bit dicey let's make that a symmetry is that on straight? that's not on straight is it? still not right I have no idea right, so let's put those what is going on today okay uh we're gonna call it mercury five now the only difference really is that bit and that bit we give it plenty more yeah that should do I think yep so uh, who are we sending up this time should we send the lady up 
Yeah, so it's your turn to orbit. We're gonna need new pilots soon. Not because they're dead, hopefully. Just because we need new pilots. It's good to cultivate them and train them. You bet better things out of them. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this is going to be the last Mercury mission. We're going to call it a day. Mission accomplished. <laughs> uh, right, so, turn both of these on. Crank that up to about there. And see what happens. You, you are trying to twist, aren't you? <laughs> See what I mean about solid fuel boosters. Come on, nearly, nearly, nearly. Don't break. Awesome. Throttle up to a hundred percent. And let's get some horizontal force. Oh man, we're only doing 400 knots. And we're losing speed. Okay, so maybe that didn't have enough thrust to weight ratio. It will do soon because we're burning fuel. But, uh, let's have a look. Twenty one, that's bad. This might not actually work. <laughs> Still losing speed, this is bad. Okay, definitely need the bigger engines on that. Surely that's got enough kick. No way. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a failure. I might have to ditch it in a minute. This is definitely not how you get into space. Half our fuel burnt before we're actually picking up speed. Shows you how useful I am without an uh, engineer installed. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is going to get up there. I mean, the top stage is really efficient. But... Kind of <laughs> needs more speed. Going on much faster. Not 
90. Why is it only 90? Have I put the wrong? I've put the wrong engine on. <laughs> oh no, look. I've put the satellite engine on. No wonder we're going nowhere. <laughs> no. Why did I do that? Oh no. Right, okay. Let's just ditch this because that's definitely not going to happen. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, ditch stage. Ditch stage. That's such a shame. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My bad. They're not even. Okay, that's good. This is okay. Why? Should be bleeding speed. I'm gonna knock this one up as I uh successful failure. <laughs> yeah, successful failure. Right now, because we're gonna land in the ocean and I still got a science package. Um, it's classed as another biome, so I can do that science there, and I'll still come back with something. Um, obviously, he's going to survive. We know this part of the aircraft works. <laughs> I can't believe I put that engine on there. No wonder we weren't going anywhere. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so we'll try one more real quick one. I'll fast forward this. Well, wow. <clears throat> see, this is the thing with KSP. You'll often like <laughs> something like this will happen. You'll build like a mission to Juno, which is Mars, which we're going to, and you'll you'll lay it all out. You'll make sure you've got enough Delta V. The spacecraft is brilliant. You've got enough science and everything. Everyone's crewed, and you'll get there and you realise you forgot to put the parachutes on. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's just KSP. <laughs> right, so yeah, I need to do the science, don't I? So we do the science. And recover. don't have enough points to spend <laughs> oh okay so yeah let's put the correct engine on that now and re reevaluate recomplete mission uh yeah get rid of that engines Oh, it's right next to it. That's that's what I say. That's what happened. That's the story I'm sticking to. There we go. That'll be better. And we'll just change that to point one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, save. We just double check who's in and board. Yes, you're going for another mission because you need to orbit and get a star. Oh yeah. Better change that around. 
Uh, 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 yep. 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 Okay, rock and roll. We will save that. And go. Now, as I was saying, <laughs> this is going to be the last Mercury mission. <laughs> It's all a learning curve. <laughs> to be fair, I should know better. <laughs> okay, oh, it's a night mission. Okay. No, it's pretty fine. It'll be fine. It'll look nice. You probably won't see a thing, but it'll be nice. We'll just work off instruments. New craft. Uh, and, yeah. See, now, it's still going mad. No, 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 turn the other way, turn the other way. I'm really fighting that. In the next episode or so, I'll have unlocked the fuel tanks I need. Or I might just make some kind of weird hybrid, actually. I'm waiting just for liquid fuel. Here we go. Push that. Oh, yeah, probably turn that up. Let's get some vertical, uh, horizontal speed even. Come on, come on, come on. I'm fighting it. <laughs> Are we on the map? Okay. See, this is much better. I knew it would work. Really lean over there. Okay, so. That's going up nicely. Get orbital speed as well. Put the atmosphere. Take it a bit. Cut engines. Now I can warp here now. Awesome. What's up? We shall warp. Doesn't allow you to walk very fast through the atmosphere for safety. <laughs> so it, I think this one will be fine. And the top stage is really efficient. Like, I know that. Bang this straight over into prograde and turn that engine on. Now we're not gonna make it with this engine alone. As I said, the other ones super efficient. You just gotta keep that apple abscess, which is that little marker there, uh, in front of me. And I'm doing that by just edging up. There you go, engine's popped. Turn that on. And now back out. We're doing alright. We got plenty of fuel. do the Suez mission we might do it from the uh, what's meant to be the Russian Cosmodome K 
Kazakhstan, I believe. Yeah. There we go. Orbit. Well, quite an elliptic one. Yep. <laughs> Job's a job. Now we've got. We're see. We haven't got solar panels. We need solar panels. We need that quite soon. But let's go over to the light side because if we're going to do an EVA, I want to see what's going on. that as well actually electric doesn't seem to be draining I don't know why Maybe it's because I have actually no electrics <laughs> awesome okay right so we're gonna do science while we're in orbit we're gonna keep all that. The goo seems to have clumped into a sphere. It also appears to become brittle. Brittle goo. Uh, yeah. Stuff and things. But science! Which is good. And we're gonna do an EVA. EVA report. Keep. And we're going to get back in before something goes wrong which often is the case. Turn that on. Right. So, this craft works. It's not going to be the end all, but this top bit I think will be once we stick some solar panels on. Uh, but it is the last Mercury mission. We are going to call it a day after this. Move on to the next project. Now, we're going to bring it down. Let's turn the engines on in retrograde. I probably shouldn't have done it at the perhaps so <laughs> never mind. It's done. We've completed that objective anyway, the spacewalk. Uh, we will cut engines there. See? That one's really good. But we do need a better first stage for this. So let's ditch this. <laughs> Such a pretty game. And I'm gonna angle over this way a bit. Uh, yeah. Back it up till we get into the atmosphere. And until we actually hit something. Definitely gonna land in a drink. We're starting to, yeah, just starting to bleed speed now. I wonder what happens if I do the thingy view while I'm going for the fire. But it'll kill the game. Should we try? Yeah, why not? Oh, interesting. Oh yeah, look, see, okay, we didn't crash the game. She's just chilling. She's just chilling. Yeah, not a, not a care in the world. You know that thing. It's really cool. Okay, let's concentrate. Serious. That explosion was the other stage, by the way. <laughs> Sounded quite close as well. From the spacewalk. Okay, we got paid for that, it's all good. And we've slowed down enough to be not be on fire. Okay, so let's turn these off now. We've got a natural. Yeah, that's or well, part of it anyway. What blew up.
Uh, fast forward to a decent altitude. Because I put near future in. Hmm. I need to look into that. Yeah, that's uh, one of the mods I put in. Anyway, I know we're still doing like basic spacecraft at the moment, but I have put some mods in which we will be unlocking shortly, which uh, are quite interesting. Adds more depth to the game. As anyone who plays KSP will tell you. Right, so that's all cool, we'll crank that speed up. So yeah, I think we're going to call it uh, Project Success, done, kaput. We'll move on to, yeah, we'll see what we can get. I'd like to do a moon probe, but we don't have solar panels yet. We'll see what... Uh, science we get back from this. If I can unlock solar panels we'll do that and hopefully they'll offer us a moon probe mission. Uh, if not we will carry on with the tourist missions which is going to be the Soyuz missions. It's all fun and games anyway. We'll see. Okay. Do 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 do. You can do it. Yeah, we really need to add weight to that. That's taking far too long to get down. Recover. We're still on the first day as well. Awesome. <laughs> We've been busy. Uh, uh, yes, science, please stuff please thank you yummy yummy uh so we'll just quickly spend that and then we will literally finish the episode we have done we are definitely definitely unlocking that because we want new science and batteries we cannot afford solar panels damn you all uh do we want bigger capsules probably do we want struts that's the fuel tanks. Okay, we're just gonna have to pick one of these. We need both, to be perfectly honest, but I think I'm gonna go for that because it looks like we're gonna be doing a Soyuz program next. Okay, so we're gonna call it a day. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, like, subscribe, and take it easy. <laughs>